Hello, Internet. Good evening. Hope everybody's well. Thanks for checking in tonight. And uh, here we are on the Internet. Boy, that signal is not fantastic. I, uh, I apologize for that. Actually, I don't apologize. I can't handle, I can't control what happens on the Internet. This is what it is. So, see if we can get a slightly better signal, but if not, um, you know, we'll just have to roll with it. Happy Independence Day to my American friends, and uh, happy Losing America Day to my British friends. Um, hope everyone's well. Uh, we are very close to Axial Fest, and I'm proud to say that I'm very, very, very close to actually being ready well in advance of this year. Uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. And uh, very much looking forward to seeing a lot of happy faces again. So, uh, we're here today to uh, do a quick unbox and Q&A on the Axial SCX-10 II 1969 Blazer RTR. That's a lot of words. Um, so, uh, why don't we... Uh, why don't we get to that? Uh, let's see if anyone said anything useful yet. Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome. Uh, Mike, you are here for the qual qual qualers. You did spell it right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Well, hey. Pr probably some people on the west coast are eating dinner. Um, some other people on the east coast are getting ready for bed, and other people in Australia are probably just waking up. Um, hello everyone, and, uh, who thought I lived in Spain? That's weird. Uh, I'm glad that, uh, you like turtles and tiny trucks. And yes, I am alive. Was there any doubt of that? I'm, uh, not usually unalive. Um, let's, uh, you guys want to open a box? Is that something interesting? Anybody? Care to see a, a box opening? We can do that. Got it right here. There it is. It's a blazer. You Chevy guys must be going nuts. Uh, I'm much more of a Lada guy. I like the Nevas. Um, so, uh, box art. Let's take a look at that. What uh, what do we think? Is that a good look? I uh, I wasn't sure about the blue. If I'm if I'm honest, um, I had seen pre-production um, and uh, some some options they were looking at, and uh, I was surprised they went with blue. It's um, you know. It's a it's a good it's a good color. There's nothing nothing wrong with it. Um, it's the wood grains kind of a thing, right? Anyway, um, uh, long and the short of it, underneath this is sort of like a, a a compilation, if you will, of the latest RTRs that have been coming out. So there's a little Honcho, there's a little uh, JK in there. And uh, what's the other one? Deadbolt. Uh, I don't think there's anything Deadbolt esque in this one. This is sort of like, it's a cross between the Honcho and the JK. Uh, there's a lot of nice upgrades in this one. Um, and some definite new parts, mostly, you know, body up. That stuff is all new. Um, so why don't I grab a blade here and uh, we'll pop it open. I mean, everyone's, you've all seen an, an unboxing before. It's not anything new or specifically anything super interesting. So, I mean... Guess what? There's going to be a bag in there, and in that bag, there's probably going to be a remote and uh, a manual. And uh, gosh, I hope there's some of those green uh, green things in there. I don't. If hey, you know what? If you can guess how many gate markers I have, I will send out a hat. I will send out a hat. I've got I've got this Knight Customs hat here. It's a nice looking hat, never been worn, still has the label on it. Um, I'll send that out to one of you guys if you can guess how many of those gate markers I have. And I, I, I will count them. They have to be the green ones though. They can't be some other, 
um, you know, um, uh, knockoff of, of that one. So I'll give you guys plenty of time to comment on that one, and uh, I'll pick someone next week who's close. Let's say within f three. If you're within three, uh, we'll we'll figure out how to get you a hat. All right, I'm pulling it out. I'm waiting for someone to say it. <clears throat> Gosh, this thing won't, it's not coming out very easily. Uh, they must have changed the way these boxes go together. I'm having a difficult time. This is proving to be the worst unboxing ever. Hey, a manual. I've got bad news already, guys. Bad news already. Um, first of all, this setup is terrible for doing an unboxing. Uh, I'm going to move back a little bit so we can maybe get a little more of the truck into frame. There we go. Um, hey, check it out. It's a blazer. Um, okay. First things first, let's get to the stuff. Oh, hey, all right. That's great. That, that makes me quite happy. All right, let's put this down here for a second. With any good unboxing comes unbagging. What have we got? <laughs> yeah, I did get the truck right side up. That's fantastic. Uh, Tactic. Which one is this? TTX 300. So that is a three-channel radio. Yes. Yes. Uh, a s that was a nice noise. Uh, assorted bag of goodies. Extra plastic parts. Um, some light buckets. Some uh, additional driver heads so you can change out. I hope the skull is included. <laughs> Two gate markers and uh, some bull horns and ammo boxes and stuff. This is sort of the standard bag that you would expect to find. Now, the better part of the unboxing, the actual truck. There is a manual, of course, uh, and uh, instructions on how to use the radio system. Uh, now, okay, now seeing this truck in uh, in the flesh in studio light actually looks pretty good. Pretty good. I'm, uh, I thought that uh, for sure that blue would be a bit odd, but it actually looks pretty good. I uh, yeah, gotta knock some of these out here real quick. Axial does do a very good job of packaging their trucks. Um, makes them hard to, uh, to get out of there sometimes. And, they certainly don't rattle around, which is good. Um, but, shocker, I'm not going to be happy about this. Um, one of the mirrors is broken. Uh, now, if you guys have seen any of the other unboxings, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty thin mirror. And uh, I'm not totally surprised that one of them's already broken, which is unfortunate, of course. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they include spares, so um, we'll have we'll have to take a look at that and see. Um, but here it is, here it is. Um, yeah, that's a that's a good looking it's a good looking truck. Um, what I like about this body is that it is quite wide. So as you can see, if we hold it this way, you get some pretty decent tuck, um, and that is nice i like that uh method wheels hey that's cool um got some molded in wipers these are removable molded um mirrors like i said a uh, new cage new plastic cage which um runs the length of the body and does have down tubes in the front so that's nice uh looks like there's some mounting points there i presume there'll be light uh light bucket kits or something that comes out um yeah i like these bumpers uh that's nice that they've got sort of a winch mount kind of built in um and uh leds super that's fantastic 
Um, cool rear bumper too, I like that. And it looks like, yeah, the uh, license plate is mounted on a little hitch receiver, so you can actually take that out and put a hitch on there if you're so inclined. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, interior is fairly lacking. Uh, there are, you know, the appearance of seats. Um, stickers just kind of make up the difference, but it's pretty flat. There's not a ton going on there. Um, the windshield is a separate piece. Uh, but you wouldn't be able to run it without it. You'd have to trim it uh, if you wanted to do that um, Because it is structurally part of the hood as well, but that's not a big deal. You could cut that off fairly easily I do like these bumpers. They are they are good-looking bumpers um, I'm not sure if they're uh, licensed or not. I don't recognize the logo. Oh, they are chassis unlimited Never heard of that uh, The grill is very nice. This is uh, detailed uh, molded chromed plastic um, Chevrolet it's good uh, stickers yeah yeah pretty good no inner fenders um, but that's not unexpected um, but uh, yeah overall that's a pretty fine looking body yeah I like it um, one thing I noticed right away and I'm sure that this is something that might be coming later uh, there are a bunch of dimples here in the body. There's six of them. I bet you those are to mount some sort of top. That's my guess, anyway. Um, if you have any speculations on that, post them in the comments. Um, okay, so there it is. Um, oh, the sliders are new, too. Um, yeah, they still they mount into the, the same uh, uh, skids as, as per usual. But they are a new design, and they look uh, they look pretty nice. They look good with this body. I think it's a good uh, I think it's a good looking release. Uh, these method wheels are very nice. I like the fact that it's uh, a different color, not black, uh, for once. And there is a chrome ring. It's all one piece, glued on uh, RTR compound falcons. Um, yeah, overall it's looking pretty nice. I think that's pretty good. Oh, top tip, uh, that license plate there. That's an actual license plate. I believe it belongs to somebody at Axial who has a blazer similar to this uh, body style. I don't think it's this color, but um, yeah. There's a little bit of trivia for you. I'm going to put this down for a sec, and uh, we're going to go over some of the comments, because, wow, there are a few. So let's uh, check it out. Uh, oh my goodness gracious. Uh, lots of guesses. 3,892. That's too many. Is that a minus? Minus 895. I like it. These are good numbers. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, almost time for fireworks. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys have got your fireworks uh, celebrations tonight. Uh, no, I haven't posted a ton of videos lately, but I'm still posting on a fairly regular basis. Unalive is real close to being dead. <laughs> yeah, true. True, true, true. Cameo and GCM's vid. Yeah, uh, I was at K&K. I had an amazing time, uh, when it wasn't raining and blazing hot. So, um, I had a good time at the steak restaurant. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was a disappointing, um... Uh, event. Uh, most of the electronics in all of my trucks failed in some way. Uh, the only shining moment I had was with the VS410, and that thing did spectacular, but uh, that's for another video. We'll talk about that again. Um, bup, 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 bup. This guy, lol, hi. Um, got really good stuff there. Can't wait to see it. Chevy guys have no nuts. Uh, like peanut butter? I don't know. Um, Chevy is the best truck, no other compares. Well, we're all allowed to have our opinions. Uh, why can't Axial build a proper RTR anymore? Well, Sean, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Um, is it a problem with the electronics that you have, or a problem with the body? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you can fill me in later. That's a Ford Blue. Maybe. Uh, I like big tiny trucks from New Zealand. 
Hopefully Axel will have a hard top for it soon. Yes, and uh, based on those those dimples, that's entirely possible. Uh, I like how apparently electronics don't work after you get a new part from my SCX-10 II. That's, uh, that's a bummer. Um, uh, I don't, I can't, I can't help you there without any, any other info. Deadbolt driver, yes, definitely put the skull guy in, 100%. Uh, hoping how to inbox video. Uh, sorry, you lost me, Alex. Unbox, okay. Still... So lost. Uh, thanks, Carson13 says, Thanks so much for the budget build-off. I used a lot of the tips and tricks you used. Can't wait for the next series. That's something that I have to consider. Uh, the budget build-off was a tremendous amount of work for both um, Harley and I. And, uh, yeah, may have to do one again. It was uh, it was fun, for sure. Maybe uh, it might be a nice winter project. Something I can do where I'm just inside. I'm not bending the brim on this hat. This hat stays flat. The way I like it. Uh, the truck was not upside down. Victory. Deadbolt body isn't licensed. That's why it's cheaper. That's not the only reason the deadbolt's cheaper. Um, there are a lot of things different about this RTR, and I will get into that here in a moment. Um, but uh, there are a lot of differences between the deadbolt and this truck. Um, not just licensed bodies. That's what she said. There, I'm uh, caught up to that point in the comedy. Will there be any giveaway of this good stuff? Well, I'm giving away a hat, so that's good. Yes, I got the truck right set up. Why do the doors stick up like that? Don't like that. Oh, yeah, well, I think that's probably because they intend to offer a topper. We're another risk. I don't know. I'm not good at math, Alex, so uh, you're on your own with that one. What trucks are you hiding behind the pool balls? What pool balls? Oh, those are paint cans. They're Tamiya paint cans. That's funny. Cover that pipe back there with the green cones. Yeah, that's a good idea. I could do a little, like, um, what would you say that would be called? I could do, like, a... Uh, like a necklace or something back there. Uh, nice old steamer you got in the corner there. Yeah, you noticed the loco hawk. Yeah, it's all done. Uh, took it out and did a little bit of filming today. Hi, Brad. How are you? Uh, box. Yes, no truck. More box. Uh, there's a lot of good artwork on there. Uh, can you compare to Axial Cherokee body? Why, yes, I can. How strange that I actually have this sitting here. That's really handy. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, it's a little cut up in the back, but it's it's the same basic truck. Uh, let's um, let's put them right next to each other here and, uh, and do a little comparo. Well, they're about the same length uh, as you would expect because the wheelbase is the same, 12.3 inches. Um, Looks like the blazers about the same height. Fenders uh, are a little bit lower. Looks like. Uh, oh, here, how's that? Better. And then, um, in terms of width, they are essentially the same width. Um, so there you go. Hope that hope that helps. How's that right there? Better. still quite low how about that there we go better all right cool so there you go that's a comparison for you i was that was very fortuitous it's almost like i planted you and asked you to ask that question but you didn't this is all live i wouldn't be able to have done that uh cool method hat thank you i uh, bought it on the website uh yeah the body is quite nice uh vip xj1 um uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a good looking body. Is that how you differentiate between method hats and normies? I, dude, I, I'm missing all these jokes. Sorry. Chevy, whoa, skipped way ahead. Chevy orange diff covers. No, they're not orange. They are red. They're not orange. They're, uh, they're axial red. So you won't be able to, uh, you could paint them, I guess, if you needed them to be orange. 
we need a styrene hard top. Yes, styrene is nice. Um, I know that it's you know my preference for building. Um, unfortunately, and the thing about styrene is that it's really expensive. Hard bodies are really expensive to uh, to manufacture. Um, so, you know, you'll never see it in an RTR format. It'll just be prohibitively expensive. Uh, enjoy your fireworks there, Steve-O. Uh, cool. People are... It's a holiday, so I presume uh, most people are enjoying that. Nice dimples. Thank <laughs> uh, do you think they will come out with just the blazer body? Well, Michael, I don't know. Uh, are you are you asking if there would be more Chevy bodies? Um, there I don't know. There could be. There could be. I can't say for sure. The body does need a full 3D interior. Yeah, it would be nice to see uh, <laughs> things a little. Oh boy, somebody's giving me somebody's giving me grief already about the. Uh, the reading of my comments. I like to participate. I like to make sure everyone feels like they're getting a little bit of time. Anyway, 3D interior prospects looks difficult to cut out. Yeah, I think this would be a difficult one to cut out. Um, I wonder though, the JK one might fit, but again, it's not really all that full depth. What would be interesting though, is if uh, the Proline uh, Bronco, is it, is it a Bronco, the, the topless one? If that one fit, that would be pretty cool. Because that's a good looking interior for, for Lexan. Do I like Cross RC SG4C? Robert, I'm not sure uh, which one the SG4C is. Is that the one that Josh just picked up? Um, if it is, uh, I kind of like the look of it. I'm much more interested in that Mammoth. Uh, that thing looks awesome. And I, up until, what, Three weeks ago, Richard, I'd never played spin tires before, and uh, I played with that that weird eight by eight mammoth thing, and uh, I would love to recreate some scenes from that. That was super fun. Um, Fifteen hundred dollars is a pretty steep entry cost, so I don't know if that's really in the realm of what I can afford, uh, but it is certainly pretty cool. I'd love to do a build on that someday. I think Cross is doing pretty well. Uh, the door stuck up like that because they do from the factory. Thank you, Michael, for answering that question. Do I have paintballs? Don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, Axiomatic, uh, these are pre-release. These are media kits. Um, so they aren't officially out yet. Uh, they will be soon. <laughs> Richard, you're the best. Uh, yeah, you can have a truck. I'm going to give, which one do you want? You can pick one from back here and I'll bring it with me. You can have it. Um, over your left shoulder is always the new secret rig spot. Yes, that's where, uh, I put them. Um, yeah, that's sort of where I, I like to, over my left shoulder there is where they go. Um, this one's not really a secret. It's been on the forums for, I don't know, almost a year in the process of building it. So um, not a secret, but definitely something I'm pretty happy with. Uh, there will be a video of the Loco Hawk coming out uh, shortly, probably probably next week. Um, I've already filmed it, uh, but I might want to go out and get a little bit more. Um, unfortunately, the truck has to be shipped to uh, California on Monday at the latest. Otherwise, it won't get there in time for Axial Fest. And it's not the type of truck that I can put on a plane uh, and bring with me because honestly it kind of looks a bit suspicious you know it's a lot of tubes and a lot of pipes and a boiler and you know all kinds of weird stuff so we're gonna ship it out there uh, and uh, hopefully it arrives in one piece uh, I had good success last year with the um, half track so I'm not really too worried about it um, need to put a Jeep body on the chassis. Well, I've got a JKU over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we'll leave the Blazer body on there for now. I like when you do live streams. It's hilarious. Sean, thank you. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's all that funny, but I'm glad that somebody does. That's great. 
Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, styrene or no truck, that's what I always say. Uh, you know that uh, Pardon My Noob uh, is the other uh, half of the Scale Builders Guild, and um, I love it when he checks in on my live videos and cracks me up, because uh, without him, boy, I don't know where I'd be. Uh, any electronic recommendations for building the SCX-10 II? Uh, presumably the kit. Uh, I really like uh, Castle. I really like Tekken. Uh, I think both of those companies offer amazing systems with some very cool features. Um, I know that uh, Castle and Tekken both have the ability to adjust your drag brake from a channel, like a third channel on your radio, which can be very handy depending on the situation you're in. If you're in a situation where you uh, are like gonna go over a cliff or whatever, you can throw that drag brake into full 100%. Anyway, uh, Castle, Tekken, uh, I've had great success with both. And you know, it really kind of depends on what your application is, but both, uh, well, I guess just Tekken offers brushed, right? I don't think Castle has a brushed division. Uh, but I know their uh, ESCs are capable of it, so it really kind of depends on, on, on where you want to drive, how you want to drive, and what your budget is, too. Does the body come with light bucket options, or do you have to mod it? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, let's pull the body off and take a look. Um, I'm pretty sure that it does, but I want to confirm it uh, with you. I don't want to give you the wrong things. Yes, it does come with light buckets for uh, the headlights um, and uh, the marker lights, too, if you uh, were so inclined. And in the extra parts bag, I already can see all the little doodads you need to hold an LED in there. So, um, like Josh said in, in his uh, review, um, the only bummer is, is that, you know, to take the body off completely you'd have the lights hanging in there and that can be kind of a pain so yeah in fact on the honcho build i actually moved the headlights uh, or the the lights out of the headlights and into the fog lights just because i want to make it easy to get batteries in and out because i'm going to hopefully be driving that a whole bunch at axial fest um i'm trying to read faster there's just a lot of comments omar you cannot have any of my time uh, especially if you're drunk. I don't, I don't need any sass around here, you jive turkeys. Speed reading, okay. What happened to your nose? Somebody always asks that question. It's like the weirdest question to ask somebody. Um, like, I don't, I don't know you, uh, but, uh, it's kind of personal to me. Anyway, I had an accident when I was like a toddler. The, the end. Uh, we need a styrene hardtop, hardtop from you, dude! Um, okay. Uh, that's not really something I do, but maybe we can get, uh, maybe we can get Richard to, uh, mold up a styrene topper. That's not a bad idea, Richard. eBay. I'm telling you. Spin tires or no tires? Oh, you guys. Uh, do you do the suspension drinking game? Uh, no, I don't. I'm not drinking. Um, but I know that, uh, I know that Josh likes to do that. His... His setup is a lot more conducive to um, to doing that. But here, here, look. Here, okay. How about if we do a little, little flex for you guys? You can have all the drinks you need. I'm flexing it out. Mad flexing. Is it Friday already? All right. Put that down. Uh, oh, I sorry, I'll squeeze the tires. Sorry, here we go, here we go, here we go. SG, oh, the SG4C is the Truggy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, these are vented already. That's handy. Hey, and you can see that the universals are on these axles. They are the one-piece ones. Uh, but you know what, RTR, kind of expected. Hey, the, the uh, shock oil's already leaking out on the shock. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, universals. Um, one piece, uh, sh uh, axle design. I do prefer the, the one piece axle on the rear though. That's, that's a bonus. Uh, I squoze them as good as I could. Yeah. Uh, the SG4C, I, I, it is an interesting looking truck. Um, I'd like to, um, I'd like to, to 
get one in my hands and see what it uh, looks like. Um, I have zero zero uh, experience with it, so um, can't say anything more about that. Steam plow powered airplane. That's a good idea. When I asked, I was curious if Axel would just sell the Blazer body without having to buy the entire RC. Okay. Uh, well, I, the rumor is, and if you uh, follow the blogs, John Schultz has a C10. Uh, this is a K5. Uh, so there is a C10 body. I hear that one is going to be clear and uh, available as an aftermarket option. Need some new Hawk bumpers. Uh, not for the Loco Hawk, it doesn't. That uh, does not have Hawk brand bumpers on it. Tell Axial to stop being cheap. Plastic balls and rubbery rod ends are a disappointment. Uh, okay, uh, I'll let them know. Steam powered boat. Well, yeah, that's definitely what the steam engine in the Loco Hawk was designed for. Uh, I get into that in the in the, uh, the the Loco Hawk video that's coming soon. Are you going to make a VS410 scale build? Yes, I am. Um, I promised Vanquish that I would run it in its uh, stock form uh, for the first little while. I've got a lot of Knight Customs pieces that I've got to add to that truck before uh, too long. And then the plan is to put a Comanche hard body on it. That's the plan anyway. There's going to be a lot of brazing, uh, but it's going to be good. It's going to be a good one, I think. New Butrol the best. Um... Put that XJ body on the TRX4 makes a world of difference. Um, yeah, I kind of I still like the Defender. I'm gonna hang on to that. Uh, it's it's my um, it's my only Defender now, so it's gotta stay Defender. Boom. Uh, Jeep Scrambler. Ooh, that's uh, neat. Noob also types way faster than Matt reads. Yes. Wes, you retracted your message. I'd love to hear what you had to say. Uh, I typed so many. <laughs> uh, he typed so many comments. YouTube told me to take a break. Uh, oh, hey Wes, hi, hi. Uh, enjoy your trip to Costa Rica. I've been there. It's very nice. Uh, yeah, you, dude, you missed the unboxing, Lab Rat. I'm very sorry. Um, it's uh, it was quick. It was very abrupt. Uh. <laughs> SBG rocks. Give me the hat, Mang. No, this is my hat. I'm keeping it. Hello, Eddie. Tail lights. No, there are no tail lights. Uh, you just get the fog lights with the blazer. Uh, there uh, are no buckets included either. I don't think. I don't think there's any even in the spare parts bag. I could be wrong, but I'm I'm not. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong on that one. So yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, it would have been nice uh, to get two sets of lights. Although, it does obviously, because it's the AI AE5L, give you the option to buy another string of LEDs and just make sure your voltages match and you should be good to go. You would have to make your own light buckets, though. Uh, Ford country here, but Chevy will do. <laughs> yeah, Ford car or no par, that's what I always say. Axial Fest in Colorado, yes, that would be cool. Also, Moab. I think Moab would be a great destination for some RC stuff. Coffee cup to the nose, correct. Uh, Mad dog to the nose, also a possibility. Uh, root beer, eh? I'm having a soda water. Cheers. Ah. Plane. Um, I'm not smelling the tires. Chevy parking only. <laughs> ah, I want to see the Toyota 4Runner behind you. Here, I'll move. Oh, there you go. You getting a good look at it? There you go. Uh, why is Axial selling mostly RTR instead of kits? Well, they only have the one kit to sell. I don't know why else, like, there's no other reason to sell other kits because once you have one... Put anybody on it. You can put anybody on it you want. Uh, will the Blazer fit on a TRX4? Uh, it'll fit on the Sport, I think. The mounting holes will be in the wrong places. Um, I don't know. Ask Josh. Maybe he could put the mud truck, uh, put 
put this body on the mud truck that he's building. That would be, that would be amusing. It's not a hard, well, wait, the Forerunner. Yes, the Forerunner is a hard body. Why, why is, why is truck? That's, that's your best one yet. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so I will give Kitty a shout out. What's up, Kitty? Hope you're doing all right. I'd love to see you do a build of the Toyota Hilux, the top gear used to travel to the North Pole. Hmm, that'd be an interesting build. Uh, it's an odd body style, though, and it's curvy. I'm not good at curves. The Hilux TGUD was at... was A at 38. Sorry, Colby. I'm not getting that. Uh, LOL spelling. Yeah. <laughs> My cat's sitting on his shoulder. My cats are not allowed in here. Uh, cause they're jerks and they constantly ruin things and steal stuff. Um, what does the rear body mount look like? Excellent question. It's, uh, it's basically an extension piece. Uh, and hopefully this is going to focus on that. Um, it's actually kind of, it's a nice design. Uh, it's very rigid, uh, in the way in which they designed it. And, uh, yeah, just puts that mount a little further back. I like it. It's good. Clean. Clean design. Is it a truck or a car? Uh, oh, are you talking about the Forerunner? It's not mounted on the frame yet. Uh, the details on that Forerunner body uh, are as follows. It's from Manitou Liu. He's in China and he 3D prints these bodies. And uh, I've actually got a couple more here um, that I haven't finished yet. You can find him on Facebook uh, MFAB M-A-M-F-A-B and uh, he does some pretty kick-ass bodies. Uh, he's got the Chero... no, not the Chero Manchi. Uh, he's got the Comanche kit for the uh, Hardbody XJ. He's got an FJ55. He's got the Forerunner. Uh, he did a Nissan Patrol, which none of you will know what that is. Um, what else has he done? I know there's something else, or something else in the works. Anyway, uh, when they come in, they come in uh, <laughs> in a bag like this with a lot of pieces. It's like a big puzzle. And... Uh, this is actually part of uh, an FJ55. There's the tailgate right there. And uh, the print is pretty pretty smooth. It does require some massive amounts of sanding. Um, Richard was kind enough to, because uh, we, we both got Forerunners, so he was kind enough to do all the sanding for the Forerunner for me. But I'm gonna do the 55 myself. Uh, it's gonna be a slow burn on that one. It's a, it's a big body too. It's gonna be a cool build. But uh, yeah. They uh, require a ton of work to get looking that good, but it's totally worth it because, you know, where else are you going to find a 5th gen Forerunner body? Uh, any tips for first time body making? Yes, uh, there's a video on the channel all about styrene building for the first time, so definitely check that out. Uh, am, I, am I caught up? Impossible. Impossible. But I am. Boy, I tell you, you get a 27 turn and slam a 50C 3S LiPo and you'll get all the torque you need and then some. True enough. I'm sure it's been asked, but have you any build vids for the VS410? No, I don't. I didn't do a build video. Uh, I was pressed to get it done and photographed and videoed and out there. Um... But uh, I did do like a release video on it at least, so you can definitely glean some information from that. Uh, once we get away from the Lexan body and I start doing a hard body build on it, uh, I'm more than likely to do a video series on that. Uh, hi, Doug. Ah, type faster, guys. Nope, sorry. Does the Loco Hawk have rear steer? No, uh, and it doesn't in real life either. 
Where do you buy your styrene and body supplies? I buy all my styrene in bulk. Uh, I buy it in four foot by eight foot sheets uh, in varying thicknesses from a local plastic supply company. Those four by eight foot sheets cost me about $29. So if you can find a, a plastic supplier near you, that's the way to buy it because it's super cheap. Does truck, uh, the new blue truck is purple. Uh, average brick of styrene. I don't have any styrene bricks. That's not really how it comes. But, uh, man, it'd be easy to carve a body out of one, huh? Um, Omar, I'm not doing that, man. Uh, you're on the wrong channel if you think that I would. Uh, oh, hey, Amazon. 4x8 sheet from Amazon for 30 bucks. Uh, thicknesses vary in price. Yes, they do. Uh, you can say that about a lot of things. Um, okay, let's go over some of the, the new... Well, not new, but let's go over some of the features of the uh, Blazer uh, Axial RTR. 35 turn motor, uh, 85L for LEDs with uh, another uh, pigtail on there so you can add more lights if you are so inclined. Uh, Star or Dean's plug uh, on there, which is great. Uh, green tab to warn you about doing foolish things. Um, universals in the front steering axle, so um, you'll get nice, um, lots of steering out of it, out of the box, which is fantastic. Uh, wild Boar plastic drive shafts with the metal uh, cups. Um, the new style OG SCX10 Trans. Um, this one has metal gears inside, so excellent value there. Also metal links, uh, they're the threaded style. Um, not the tapered ones. I do prefer the tapered ones for sure, but um, for RTR, can't really go wrong there. Uh, like I said, these new bumpers are very cool. Uh, I do like that they kind of gave you room to put a winch in that front bumper. I thought that was a really nice touch. Uh, this is the same uh, style RTR that the Honcho is in terms of um, the battery tray, so it doesn't give you the option for a servo winch out of the box, uh, which is... A little bit of a bummer, <clears throat> excuse me, but because you can put a, a scale winch right up there, no big deal. Um, tactic servo, which um, as we all know, RTR servos are never going to last very long. So um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say on that fact. <clears throat> Plastic bodied shocks, um, which have sort of become quite common in the RTR uh, market. And um, these new, um, well, not new, but uh, different colored method wheels. Uh, so there you go. That's the whole thing. And um, also, of course, the, the new body and cage uh, for the K5 Blazer. I remember, uh, I don't know why, but Blazer always makes me laugh. Uh, in, uh, I think it was Dodgeball, the movie. Um, there was a scene where... Um, uh, the, the villain guy uh, is introducing all of his guys on his team. And he goes, this guy's Blade. And this guy's Laser. And this guy's um Blazer. So I, <laughs> I always get a chuckle out of the word Blazer. There you go. Uh, oh, hey, let's move backwards because I'm not caught up on the comments again. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Sean, you're right. Uh, if you want, that, and I still wouldn't do it, but I'd take the money. Uh, you have to pay for farts on camera. And that's right. I learned that in acting school. Six by six flatbed SCX10. Is that what you're building there, Colby? That sounds cool. Omar, you're awesome. Uh, does it backflip and lipo fire? Uh, n yes and no. And I'll let you decide which one's which. Uh, thanks for checking in, Tim. Nice to hear from you. Uh, comes with leaking shocks. Well, we all know that RTR shocks are not the best. It's to be expected. From nearly anybody, if I'm honest. Exacto blades help with lipo fires. <laughs> store, store your lipo <laughs> fire for best life. Yes. I Actually, funny story. I was watching a show on Nova last night. 
all about uh, lithium polymer batteries. And there is some crazy tech coming out. I think, guys, we're in for a whole new generation of fun with zero risk. They were showing off uh, prototype LiPo batteries that instead of um, whatever the substrate is that keeps everything separate, whatever that is currently, it was basically like a plastic and it's, it's molded into the whole battery and you can puncture it. You can stick a nail through it. You can cut it up. The guy was cutting it like uh, making like making snowmen, and it literally was completely inert. It was so cool, and it still held charge, and it was still working. So we're definitely we're definitely on the precipice of something very cool with battery tech, and I I can't wait till that happens because you know with all the the current scares around lipos, I think it's getting harder and harder to travel with them. And I mean, I'm going to find out, both of us are going to find out in two weeks how far we get with our LiPos on the plane. So uh, there are, of course, precautions you can take, tape all the connectors, put them in a fireproof bag and uh, declare them when you get on the plane so they know you have them. Anywho, uh, is it a 12.3 inch wheelbase? Galen, yes, it is 12.3 inch. G Axial uses fairly decent electrics in their eyes now. You must mean RTRs. Those sliders are good, Richard. They look good. Can you use Lexan for windshield side windows? Yes, you can. Uh, yeah, I, in fact, uh, that's exactly what I used on the Loco Hawk here. It's just uh, tinted Lexan. I Well, I tinted it myself with um, smoke. P.S. Uh, I can't read it from here. P.S. something. I don't. I can't see it. Not... It's probably fallen to the back, but yes, you can use Lexan for windshields. Gotta fix my broken shit. Had fun, don't get too drunk. I'm not going to, because uh, it's soda water. Uh, maybe, I'll get, maybe I'll get drunk on soda. Uh, it's a nice truck, I'll take two. Uh, wench. I hate when people use that word, Sean. It's winch with an I. Wench is an entirely different thing. Uh, they're normally seen at medieval times, uh, where in medieval times there were no forks, hence there are no forks at medieval times. Uh, adequate room for massive tire expansion. Uh, Tim, if it's going on 8S, yes, 100%. <laughs> uh, what's with that black dually Jeep Wrangler back there? Dude, I, oh man, I, ooh, ooh. Now I'm furious. It's not a dually, first of all. It's a 6x6. Six six. And this is a very famous truck that I've recreated, of which there will be many videos soon. Uh, unless I was a joke, then that is good. I love it. Where am I? Winch, winch. <laughs> yeah. Toyota truck or Chevy truck or no car. Or... Jeep JL, possibly. It was dodgeball, yes. Uh, jerk for life. Is the body flimsy or thicker than the JKU one? Well, I have both here, again. Fantastic question. Let me get out, now this isn't gonna be a fair comparison because uh, I've got the JK interior in the JKU. Um, but in terms of thickness, I'm gonna say the Blazer is thicker. It's definitely less flimsy than the JK. Um, the mirrors, however, are quite brittle, quite fragile. Uh, so you will probably want to take those off instantly. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely a much... And a pretty good sound out of that. Uh, it's a much more rigid body, definitely. And the addition of the... Uh, the cage on top helps with that immensely. Uh, yeah, the, the JK was a bit thin, and I bet you that they went back to the drawing board on the molds and um, and definitely uh, reinforced that, uh, that buck when they made it. <laughs> Blazer, Taser, Laser, and Michelle. 
I have, uh, how many jerps do I have? I only have the one. Yeah. I only have the one. Got a lot more Toyotes. Uh, I have Dodge Truck or No Ball. I have not taken it over any sweet jumps because uh, I just took it out of the box. But it kind of, you know, when you think about it, it kind of comes prepackaged in its own jump. Maybe, um, maybe that's a thing. Maybe Axial's trying to tell us something. Take it off some sweet jumps. Look at that thing. That could, that could go. Uh, get that blazer out of the way and get out the VS410. Uh, I like the new SBG logo on the uh, intros on the videos. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, the VS410, pretty fine truck for sure. Um, I will talk about that in a upcoming video. I do want to kind of do a running video and do a like a little uh, uh, talk about it uh, as I'm driving. Well, not as I'm driving, but do a voiceover afterwards uh, to kind of give you my my initial impressions. And uh, um, I will say that it is a very fine truck. It's pricey, no doubt about that. But you get a lot for your money. You get what you pay for. Um, hey, uh, my pleasure, Axiomatic. I appreciate you watching. Myth busted. Uh, probably talking about miniature robot armies. Science. See, I'm doing my own memes now. Um, does it use Energon cubes? Is that a, a, like a comic book thing? I don't know. Straight edge drinks. <laughs> I'm getting so dranked on my soda. Ah, thank you for allowing me to drink Honcho and fix stuff as it breaks or XJ kit and do it right from the beginning. Mm. To be fair, I haven't broken anything on my Honcho yet, um, but it also got like, what, 12 weeks, 14, 16, 16 weeks, 16 weeks of upgrades. So that's not really fair. I, ooh, I would go kit. I'm always a big fan of the kit versions. I just, I feel like they put more effort, more time into thinking it through, into making it a really good kit. Plus, I love the kit transmission. I think it's way better than the old school ones. So, I would go XJ kit. Good question, Hully. Uh, ooh, ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it's a steamer it's a it's not a cleveland steamer though i did see the price drop at a main and tower i think that's um that's probably just uh in conjunction with like it doesn't rpp do a price drop every week on an axial product so it's probably just in conjunction with that uh yes the steamer jeep jl that's not a mall jeep at all you scum. I'll show you a mall jeep. I'm going to get the mall rated badges, I think. Actually, that's a good question. So I, nobody here knows, but I did put in an order on a JL uh, Unlimited Rubicon. So uh, that's hopefully coming soon. Uh, a real one. Uh, so tell me what stickers I should put on it. Because I've been going through some JL forums and it's... It's embarrassing what people are doing to these beautiful trucks. They're putting some horrible... I saw a truck, and all offense intended, if you're watching, all offense intended, it had clover leaves all over the side, like a big wrap of clover leaves. I was just like, oh, this is so ugly. I mean, you know, you're allowed to have your vision of what looks good, but yeah. You know what, though? Actually, I'm... <laughs> that... I'm doing that joke. I am doing that joke for sure. I'm putting. I'm gonna do some stickers like that on um, on a tiny truck. <laughs> uh, that noob comment. Tell Axel to make wooden bodies. That's amazing. That's so good. Do you guys have seen that Headquake has done some new videos lately? I need to go out and see my friend Headquake and have a little play with him. It's been a little while. Uh, fingers as micrometer are always a better option. Yes, and you saw that it's a very accurate measurement tool. 
Uh, 90 99% of all Jeeps are mall Jeeps. Uh, it's true. Mine will be the 1%. Uh, I just played bongos. All YouTube reviews need much tapping. Yes, that's right. They do. I love a good box tap, uh, body tap, uh, cycling the shocks, squeezing tires. I do it all. Love it. <laughs> uh, RC College. I went to team... Where did I... I went to Team Associated College. That's where I went. Uh, no, I went to Tamiya College. I, you know what? I, is it Tamiya or Tamiya? Josh says Tamiya, and it sounds weird to me. I think it's Tamiya. Uh, no balls pre-jumped. Um, sure. Hey, the Virgin Islands. Welcome. Thank you for coming here. <laughs> Quilters, the Scale Quilters Guild. Did anybody catch that on April Fools? We did the Scale Quilters Guild. Uh, can you 3S on Blazer? Yes, you can. Out of the box, the AE5L will accept a 3S LiPo battery. Um, is there any way we can get an SBG decal sheet? Well, I sent the proof uh, to um, the person who's printing them this time, and I'm just waiting to hear back. I know they're very busy, but uh, hopefully soon we'll do another run. Yes. Uh, Noob did take his Marlin off sweet jumps, and he got it sweet-ass muddy, too. Buy once, cry once. I guess that that's probably a Jeep joke, isn't it? Uh, I would buy an SBG quilt. Where is my... Here it is. Here's my SBG quilt. Look at that. It's a little tiny quilt. Perfect for tea parties. Which, if you go back through the forums, you'll find some sweet pictures of tea parties. Uh... Not <laughs> white girl wasted. I'm not getting what this is. This is just me wasted. Um, can you do as many videos as you want? I'm always ready, Robert. I, I have a full time job. Uh, this is this is a hobby. I like doing it. It's super fun, but uh, I gotta do I gotta do the real deal. Uh, it's. <laughs> It's not vodka, I swear to God. It's just soda water. I uh, I enjoy a, a, a flavor-free drinking experience. It's pronounced Hunt Show. Am I an entrepreneur? Entrepreneur life? That sounds like spam. Needs a lift kit. Yeah, I'm going to put a 6-inch um, body lift on the JL. What do I use to edit my videos? I use Premiere Pro from Adobe. Uh, I also use a lot of After Effects, Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, pretty much the whole Adobe suite. Um, but it, um, one quick thing about editing, it's not about the hardware, it's about the tool up here. And uh, I've been editing on a professional level for 18 years. Um, so I've got my 10,000 hours of experience there. Hancho with a sweet wench. Which toy trucks are you taking to Axial Fast? Well, Tim, I'm going to take the Loco Hawk. I'm shipping that out uh, this week. I'm going to take the Hancho Budget Build. I'm taking my Bomber, which um, I might add Proline sent me a lot of great stuff to stick on there. Um, let me just quickly get it here. Um, yeah, they sent me um, some Super Swampers and some new wheels and a whole bunch of light bars and uh, some new panels, which I'm in the process of finishing up the design on. So it's going to have a, a whole new look for this year's uh, ScaleUltra.com Ultra Off-Road Race. Uh, both Richard and I are running the 5K. Uh, I'm doing it for the second time. I finished 12th last year. I'm really hoping to do a lot better. Um, and hopefully with these upgrades from Proline, uh, I will be able to do that. And that's the plug for today. Uh, oh, hey, uh, I also got this really great uh, spare tire delete um, 3D printed part from Shapeways. And uh, it, uh, it just makes the truck look a lot more aggressive. Notice I'm calling them trucks, not cars. Because Josh, they're not cars. They're trucks. So there you go. Um, and what else? Uh, oh, I'm taking the Ripper. 
Uh, the Ripper is not in the room right now. It's in, uh, it's on uh, another bench outside of the workshop, which is shocking. No one has asked me to put it into the workshop yet. So, uh, but yes, I'm, that's the Ripper is going to be probably my main truck for the for the the week. Uh, I have the Honcho original Honcho, but would like more scale looking axles. Any suggestions? Uh, ooh, scale looking axles. Well. Um, SCX-102 axles look pretty decent. Uh, you could also look at RC four-wheel drives options. Um, Vanquish, of course. Uh, their curries are pretty top-notch. They look awesome. Even old-school ones. Even the old-school ones look pretty great. Uh, needs a lift kit and tractor tires. Heck yeah, it does. Everyone likes a good old wench. Have I checked out the Pitbull Braven Ironsides? Yes, Galen, I have. I think. Are these them? I think these might be them. No, these are the Berserkers. Which ones are the Ironsides? I don't... I'm not sure I know. Uh, weird. Huh. Is that the newest one? Maybe I don't... I don't know if I have that one. I thought I did. Maybe I don't. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I don't. Uh, shocker sticker, yes. Jeep wave sticker, yes. Punisher stickers, <laughs> obviously. Uh, who doesn't... If you own a JL, I think it's mandatory that you have a Punisher sticker somewhere. Uh, no, maybe that was a JK thing. Maybe the new one is like another uh, Marvel hero. So maybe like Iron Man, ooh. Or like Magnesium Man, because the tailgate is Magnesium. Do you think there could be a new kit version with the new axles? Uh, from from Axial? No, I don't think so. Uh, the kit version axles are better overall, I think. Yes, I know, I blew it, Tim. Uh, but I get a really nice uh, discount at the Jeep dealership, so, you know, it kind of made sense. Bottom line, should we look at this truck as a viable addition to our collection, or would you choose another SCX-102 rig from Axial instead of this one? Logan, that's a great question. Wow. Um, you know what? If you're if you are looking for another RTR, um, I, you know what? I, I, yeah, I, I would choose this one. I think it's got the best combination of features with the metal axles in or metal gears in the transmission, uh, metal links. Uh, universals up front and a new body uh, with some very nice scale details yes I would definitely recommend this one um, probably over the other ones um, also I think it, it it's gonna lend itself to more creativity there's a lot of space on that body um, I'm probably the first thing I'm gonna do here let's take another look at it here I've got a bunch of vinyl um, sticker sheets that I used uh, from the honcho uh, stripe pattern that I did. I'm going to lose this uh, wood grain. That's not really my bag. And uh, I'm probably going to do some kind of cool uh, blue stripe pattern in a couple, a couple of different colors. Just to do something a bit different, make it my own, and uh, throw some shocker stickers on there too. Why not? JDM! JDM! Um, but yeah, definitely. Do a Red Bull wrap. Interesting. That's a cool idea. Uh, Josh already dobbed you for your one-to-one. -one. Yeah, I know. He let it out of the bag. That son of a gun. Monster <laughs> stickers. Yes. Uh, I do love Headquake videos as well. I think they are uh, the perfect combination of art and hobby. And uh, I just... I, I love it when he puts a new one out. doesn't happen very often lately, but... I'd rather be shopping. Yes! Uh, very cool, Skippy. I'd love to see that demon. Hollywood Upstairs Medical College. <laughs> Josh, we're out of stickers right now. I've got, like, literally two sheets left, and I have to keep them for myself. i got to send one out to Rodney Wills because of the, uh, Rodney said it was okay sticker. He, I, I don't know how he didn't get a set, but I'm going to send one out to him. He's got a shirt, at least. Um, but we're going to do more stickers soon. I'm just waiting on the proof to come back. Um, <laughs> but, but noob, I don't know if it's Tamiya or Tamaya. 
You should, you'll phonetically spell it for me. A big axial, oh, an axial sticker on the real size truck, right? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I did a big, I did a big axial banner on the, on the roof rack on the other Cherokee. That was a thing, right? Um, I'd rather be mall crawling. Silly boys, Jeeps are for girls. And this spare tire cover, yes. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? Oh my gosh. I think, I think I would get, I think I would get mobbed. Um, for sure. Where do I want to, where do I go if I want to know if I want to work in an RC company? Well, I don't know if you either do or you do not know. Um, it's, uh, I don't, I, it's not an easy business to be in. I don't think, um, especially with, uh, all of the, the troubles that a lot of these companies have been going through. And it's not just Axial. They've all had pretty significant struggles. There, the, there's a, a limited amount of, uh, money to be made. And, um, I think it's a, I think it's a tough bag. I don't know if, I don't know if I'd want to do it. It'd have to be the right, it'd have to be the right fit, the right situation. And they'd have to pay me a million dollars. Um, yeah, small factory. Is that a small factory that makes small factories? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Richard's mom made me that quilt, which is really sweet. My mom is also a quilter. And she hasn't made Richard shit, so I don't know what I don't know what her problem is. I'm gonna have to scold her for that. Would you make a wood body? I would, and I I did. I actually made a a chief, a Cherokee chief, ages ago. It was not very good, and it made me respect uh, um, Headquake's work all that much more. What is my full time job? I'm a full time uh, film editor. I build the fancy websites for 12 years. Well, all right. Congratulations. That's good. We need websites. I'm on one right now. Uh, one thing you do I like is the reading of the comments live. It's awesome. Well, I, you know, it slows down the stream uh, for sure, but uh, I, I enjoy participating with you guys and I appreciate all of you watching. It's very nice, especially on Independence Day. You're taking time out of your independence to watch me be a goofball on the internet uh sleeve tat do you think axial would let a track seal run there i don't know i i doubt it 100 percent uh axial fest is axial only um you can have aftermarket stuff but it has to be axial internals axial junk inside punisher bomber yeah i guess i could paint it that way should i get a sleeve tattoo or a new rig um, I don't know. Way of Life. Yes, I've watched a lot of Way of Life's videos. Um, and his budget built JL, you know, a Rubicon is not a budget truck. Rubicons are expensive. Um, I should know. I just bought one. <laughs> no car, no truck. A Chevy. Yes, a Chevy tattoo sleeve. Do it. Has to be flames, though. There's got to be flames around the badge. Um, just to let you know, I like watching you way more than Josh. Just saying, yeah, well, that's because Josh is very good at the technical stuff. Um, and I am terrible at that. So, if anyone's going to do anything creative versus technical, man, watch me. I can't, uh, I can't do anything technical. I'm getting better, though. Uh, are you going to take Traxxas UDR to Axial Fest? No. Not allowed. What is... <laughs> what is Punisher? Stickers add power. They add at least five horsepower. Even, actually, just adding a Magnaflow sticker, not a Magnaflow system, just the Magnaflow sticker, ten horsepower. Uh, Charlie says hi. Oh, that cat is the worst. Um, I'm way behind again, guys. Which axial transmission do you prefer, kit or original RTR one? Much prefer the kit one, Tim. It's way better. I just, uh, it's lower. It's, uh, gravity center is lower. It's a little more complicated, which 
normally I don't like, but I actually do like it a lot. I think it's way smoother, and I think it delivers the power better. And uh, no torquing, twisting. Shoop till you droop. Uh, are you going to upgrade the VS410? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the parts off of it and just reapply them. Upgrade. Uh, that's good. Thank you, Mitchell. That's a good joke. Uh, hello, Craig. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I do currently drive a real Jeep. Uh, actually, no, it's a fake Jeep. It's the Fiat uh, Jeep, the uh, Cherokee. Uh, it's a it's been a fine truck. I've got no complaints. I barely put any miles or kilometers on it um, Just kind of got tired of it and uh, the value of which I paid versus what I owed was sort of at that sweet spot where it was time to trade it in So trade it in Yes, you're right Richard. No, not a real Jeep. <laughs> Boom roasted Well, you drive the fakest of fake Jeeps. Boom roasted uh, Yeah I know all about your Jeep thing. That's why I drive a Land Rover. It sounds like a bumper sticker. Uh, it's Jeep's things you won't get. I I, I drive a Jeep and I don't get it. Uh, oh, Suzuki Grand Vitara. 1997 Suzuki Grand Vitara. Why don't they make one-tenth scale van bodies? Because vans are lame. No, I don't know. I think it's just they're, they'd be too big. Although, let's do one. You know what? Let's do a panel van. Sounds like a good good idea. You made a J-truck, didn't you? <laughs> Axial Fest is 30 minutes from you. Well, why can't you go then? Um, can you run a stock Axial truck with Axial... <laughs> <laughs> Can you run a stock Axial truck with Traxxas stickers at Axial Axial Fest? Let's, you know what? Let's try it. Richard, I dare you. I dare you to put a Traxxas sticker on your on your truck. Uh, jump ahead every once once in a while. Sorry, guys. Um, just empty every pocket. Oh, I get it. Turk Winklestein. Hey, wait, yeah, Tim, you own Turk Winklestein now. I mean, I've got a Turk clone in the uh, 60s, so at least I've got his clone around. Fern, no, Axial Fest is only for Axial vehicles, even after the Hobby Co. situation. I should get sponsored by Magnet Flow. Is that like Magnet Box or Panaphonic? You know, it's always genuine sorny for me. On a scale of one to truck, how often do you Jeep? <laughs> Richard, I'm glad you're still awake. It's making this a lot more enjoyable. Hour and 15 minutes. Do you guys have any more questions about the blazer or blade or laser? We can talk about any of those things um, if you want. Uh, Michael, I have an SCX-10 II. Would like to purchase another truck to build thinking about the TRX-4 Sport. Do I have any other suggestions? I think the TRX4 Sport would be a great place to start. Um, yeah, I like I like it. Uh, I, I like how simple it is. It's it's almost like it's so weird because I remember in the review I was like, I wish they would do a simple version and just lose all that junk. Um, and then they did it. I wish I'd waited because I would have bought that instead of the one with all the stuff in it. Anyway, I digest. Uh, Toyota four-wheel drive van or no van? Oh, Richard, I meant to tell you, I saw a Mitsubishi, uh, one of those weird uh, tall four-wheel drive vans today, parked around the corner. I forgot to take a picture because uh, I was running. Away from things, uh, vans are not lame. I, well, Tim, I know because you own a weird lame Nissan van. In for the free candy. Ugh. Uh, how about we say Jeep a whole bunch more? Jeep! <laughs> oh, work. I'm sorry to hear that propaganda. It would be nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, why don't they make Suzuki Grand Vitara bodies? Uh, this stream is not cool. It's anything but. And I'm not self-deprecating. It's just very warm in here. Uh, what would the truck look like as a Hilux Truggy? 
uh, which truck, and I don't know. Sorry. I'm a sorry guy <laughs> through and through. Uh, oh, no work tomorrow. Understood. Well, I'm losing people, so maybe we should wrap this up. Uh, are you a... I'm, I, they don't know what that means, so we're going to skip that one. Hardtop coming for the blazer, huh? Interesting. Yeah, uh, you know what? I, I don't mind the cage. I think the cage is a nice uh, option. You know, we've seen a lot of hard or uh, full-bodied blazers. Full-bodied. Like this soda water. Nothing like a full-bodied soda water. Ah. Ooh, the orange ones. I haven't seen an orange gate in a long time. Jeep, 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 jeep. Do you have a charged battery? Let's hear that blazer do some damage. Um, you know what? I don't. My batteries are all... my all, all my LiPo batteries are stored in fire mode. Um, okay, bye, Omar. I'm thinking that the TRX4 complicated stuff, but I might... You're liking it. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't blown any of the micros yet. So, if that changes your mind, I don't know. Yes, Richard, I think it is a nice blazer. Let's let's pretend that I've had it up here the whole time again. We can do like a Harley style. Let's do a Josh <laughs> do a Josh style video. And uh see if I can get it get it in frame sort of like he does. And then I'll also do the thing that he always does where he goes, What's up everybody? He does it with both hands. He, What's up everybody? Anyway my horrible Josh impression for you for today. I'm here all week. Uh, hey, how do you... Uh... No, it's not a method hat that I'm giving away. I'm giving away a night customs hat. And I'm going to have to go back and look at all the numbers again and uh, see who's close. Because I don't... Actually, I don't know how many I have. So I'm going to have to count them all up. And uh, someone will win this hat. It's a nice mesh back hat. Perfect for wearing. Someone will get that. Um, trying to figure out a way to put a user in timeout. Done. Cool. This being about the Blazer, can you tell us flat out the Blazer or the Two X Four? Which one is it? Uh, well, they're blue boy. Uh, I don't know the retail price on either off the top of my head. Um, I think that you'll find still, there's still more stuff for uh, axial trucks in terms of aftermarket and cool parts and um, third-party uh, support that it's probably still the better option. Um, I mean, unless you want to build a mud truck, like <laughs> maybe the Trax is a good choice. I don't know. I don't have, I don't have the TRX4 Sport, so I can't put them side by side and do a, a fair comparison. Um, I don't know how either of them drive really either. The the TRX4 isn't a fair comparison because it has so much extra weight to it. Um, but that's that's a good question. That is curious. And uh, you know, if I if I get around to it, I'll pick up a TRX4 and maybe uh, we can do a comparison. I won't touch uh, this RTR. I'll leave it uh, as it comes, and we'll do a little comparison, seeing if that's uh, that's a thing for you guys. Oh, lipos in the oven. Good, good. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad, Sean, that you like my Josh impression. Uh, TRX4 Bronco does look very nice. Definitely. Uh, oh, diff spools uh, is an option for sure. Tip your waiter. Um, giveaway? Yeah, no, I'm just giving away a hat, Craig. No big deal. I'll <laughs> crease the brim. Yeah, I'll crease it. I'll crease it good. Uh... Okay, Robert, well, then you don't need a knight's hat, then. Um, Axial doesn't go 100 miles per hour out of the box, though. Mm, that's true. That's true. <laughs> well, I'm caught up. Again. I did it. Stopped. Oh, no. They're coming in quick again. 
Bronco, Bronco is amazing looking, but I have a TRX4, so leaning towards the Blazer for next truck. Right on. Cool. All right. Well, with that, I think I'll let you guys watch your fireworks. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Um, overall, pretty, pretty happy with the uh, RTR Blazer. The color looks a lot better in person. Um, it's got a lot of nice uh, RTR features. If you don't have an SCX-10 II and you wanted to get your feet wet in this hobby, certainly something to look at. Um, the new bumpers are great. Um, like the little uh, details that they put into those. And um, yeah, tried and true. Probably works pretty well. So um, that's the official review. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will see you again soon. And if you're going to be at Axial Fest, I will be there. Richard will be there. We'll be driving trucks. We'll be volunteering. We'll be helping out with the event. We'll probably have our orange staff t-shirts on. Uh, cheer us on in the ultra, ultra off-road race because uh, we're going to be bombing through the woods. It's a blast. I absolutely love that event. And um, yeah. I think that's where we're at. So I'll check through all the numbers and uh, see who's close on the uh, giveaway. And uh, I will find a way to find you. So thanks for watching. Adios. Farewell. Auf Wiedersehen.